What's up YouTube? I know it's been a minute. This is just a quick video of how to do a drop fade and how to leave the edges dark. I know a lot of people have been asking me how do I leave the edges dark, but in this video I'm just going to show you. So what I'm doing now is just proceeding with the regular uh, the regular steps to a drop fade. And you saw how when I opened the lever all the way initially, I dropped the How can I say this? I kind of dip down just a little bit. You have to make the blend shorter towards the C cup. <laughs> and as far as the video uploads, no, I promise I haven't been neglecting you guys. I really just been have been trying to find a balance. I just moved into a new place not too long ago, so things have been kind of hectic. And we finally reached 25K, and I haven't forgot about the giveaway. The next video that I do, it will be announcing the winner of the Supreme Clipper giveaway. So thank you guys for having patience. And this is normal speed. I didn't speed it up any. I just wanted you guys to see the, the actual time. And then here's the one guard with the lever fully open. Like I said, we're just following the same steps that I do in any other video. See how I'm fading near the C cup, but I'm not really blending it out. I'm still leaving it dark right there. That's what makes it pop. And then here, the lever is fully closed. See, I'm stretching that skin. That's how you get a nice good blend. And then here you see me open the lever halfway and I just go in between the one open and one close. <laughs> and now here's the, the half guard or 116th guard, whichever you want to call it. And the lever is halfway open. And I'm just going up under that one close to get rid of that last line. And like I said again, the key to getting a good clean blend is to stretch the skin. And then here you see me close the lever all the way. And I've done a drop fade video with this client before, but he's growing his hair out to get like a, cur a curly fro, so he's kind of in that transition stage. And then here I just have the two guard on, so we're not gonna go any higher than a two guard. And now I put the one and a half on, and I close it all the way. And I'm just going right up under that number two guard. Be careful not to go too high because you don't want to raise the fade. And as you can see, the blend is pretty much coming together now. And then here you see that little slight, slight line. So I'm just gonna take the one guard with the lever fully open. And that you just see me, that just me signaling that I'm holding the clipper flush to his head. I'm not digging. See, I'm holding it flat against his head and I'm just kind of flicking up. A 
a lot of times it may not look like I'm cutting anything, but I promise you, just getting those few hairs will make the difference in a haircut. See how I still leave that the C cup dark. And I previously lined him up just a little bit to give myself a guideline before I started this. And right here you just see me going back and touching it up to make it pop more. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Give me some feedback in the comments. See, the C-cup is dark on both sides. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments.